Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Raina Mo's Designs. And today I'm going to be sharing with you things that I got from TotallyDazzle.com. These pins, buttons, slides, and brooches are absolutely gorgeous as they always are. But these are rose gold for a beautiful project that I will be making. So we begin with the mix packs. And like I said, all of these glamorous pieces are mix packs of rose gold buttons, brooches, and pins. Just look at this beautiful sampling of rose gold brooches, pins, buttons, slides. They're just so beautiful. I never get enough of looking at these wonderful decorative pieces that really can be considered collector's items. I mean, when you look at some of these brooches, they look like they've been in your family for years and passed down. They're so gorgeous. Now at this time, I would like to ask anyone who's watching and enjoying this video, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Hit the like button if you like this type of content. So now let's begin our craft. And what you will need is a craft iron or anything that you could use to heat up your piece along with a tall pillar candle size diameter of your choice. This one happens to be uh, three inches in diameter. Uh, actually, I think they say it's six inches in diameter, but it's a candle that I picked up at Ikea. And one thing I did want to say is be very, very careful whenever you're working with this craft iron because it is very hot and you can accidentally, as you will see in some of the pictures and, and shots in the video, you can accidentally uh, melt a part of your candle that you weren't intending to melt. So here I have all of the buttons and slides and pins or brooches. I keep using that term interchangeably that I'm going to actually be affixing to our candle using the iron. You see, I will take and heat up the pin or the slide that I'm using and then affix it to the candle just by using the heat of the iron. Um, as you can see, I'm very discombobulated because this isn't my normal work area. But I think you get the gist of the idea of, of what it is that, um, that I'm about to do. Now here you'll have to forgive me because obviously I was out of frame, but like I was showing you prior, I just take that iron, that craft iron, and heat up the back portion of the brooch, and then I affix it to the candle, which you'll see shortly. Now the brown mat that you see is actually a non-stick silicone um, Teflon infused type of mat. Uh, that way things don't stick and you also don't burn anything. So it's just an extra precautionary uh, measure that I like to take. Now the hand that you will see besides mine going in and out of frame is baby boy's hand. You know I have the most difficult time opening up these packages. So he is actually taking the time to go ahead and help mama by opening up the packages for me. So if you've gotten this far into the video, please down below in the comments say good job baby boy or give him some kind of um, accolade for helping his mama out. Now as you're watching, if you'll notice, you see what I'm doing with the craft iron, but I start off with my four corners. So, so far there are two beautiful brooches 
placed onto the candle and I'll put the third and the fourth at the east and the west point of the candle. Be very careful not to burn yourself or the candle because that does happen. I did notice as I was using this technique, when you're actually using the pins or the brooches, it's easier just to affix it by using the actual pin portion of the brooch and sticking that into the candle. But with the buttons and the slides, the method that I'm using with the craft iron, that works absolutely best. But I did notice as time went on, it's easier and better to just heat up the pin and actually open up the brooch and stick the pin through as opposed to trying to heat up the tire length of the pin and then just placing it onto the candle lengthwise so that it doesn't go too deep into the candle. You want those heavy brooches to go deep into the candle um, because they're very, very weighty and you want them to stay without falling out. I did have a couple fall out and that's when I discovered, you know, it's better to actually heat up the pin and just stick the pin all the way through the candle. So this is where I'm going to stop talking so that you guys can watch me make this beautiful, glamorous, flamboyantly glamorous centerpiece candle. But as you could see, there was a small portion on the candle where it was indented and that's from the craft iron. So be very, very careful with your craft iron because if you're not paying attention, you could make a really large gore inside your candle. And I think I did this twice. But look how beautiful it's already looking. I mean, if you want a breathtaking, glamorous piece at your next event, this is the way to go. Now I know this isn't the best angle to be showing you how I did this particular craft but don't worry because I'll be doing it again in silver as well as in gold because I'm just so happy with how beautiful it actually turned out. I mean it, it, it's absolutely breathtakingly stunning. When I say glamorous, absolutely this is probably the most glamorous piece that I have ever ever made and you know that's not a word that I use very often but it definitely applies here so here I'm not gonna film all the way through or show all the way through um, how I completed the candle because you get the gist of the idea of what um, I'm doing and there you see that's when I discovered you know it's really better to use open up the pins well, I hope you're ready for the final reveal because here she is. And isn't she gorgeous? She is so glamorous, so glorious, so lovely, absolutely stunning. All of the words you could possibly think of for ultimate sheer perfection and beauty, that is she. And, you know, I think I'm going to name her Catherine because she looks very, very elegant like a Catherine would look, in my mind at least. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial because I definitely enjoyed making her. It was very calming. 
even though some of the uh, pieces kept falling off it was the brooches again I remind you use the pin portions to go deep into the candle so that you don't have that issue if you're interested in that bling that I have wrapped around the top that is bling that I've purchased elsewhere and I will be putting in my next bling bag so be looking out for that the larger pieces the buttons the brooches the pins the slides all came from totallydazzle.com you can use my code Raina Mo when you're checking out at totallydazzle.com and uh, grab up the pieces that you like you can either do the mix pack like I did or pick your individual pieces but of everything I ever say and ask have an absolutely wonderful evening Bye.